everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have never been here before, my name is Allison. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a very viral video. I am going to be doing this eye look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I ordered this palette the day it came out. I was like refreshing the website. The website was like broken. I was like, please let me have it because that was before all of the ruckus came out about her. And I also picked up one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills new matte liquid lip. I keep saying liquid, these aren't liquid. One of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks in the shade Rosewood. It didn't really go with my eye look, but I just said, truck it, I'm gonna do whatever I want today. And that's what I did. So yeah, without any further ado, if you wanna see how I created this look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have not even opened this package. I have no idea what the shades look like, what's gonna be going on in the, well, I mean, obviously I know what they look like. I am on social media. So, here she is, untouched, the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. My initial thought with this palette is that the color story is absolutely stunning. I think that it's just such a cool concept and I really hope that they perform well because I have been seeing, I'm not an idiot, I have been seeing all the reviews about the formula, the oxidization of some of them, the pigmentation, the fallout is all everybody keeps talking about. Um, I know somebody said there's something with a batch. Uh, I can't find my batch number. Somebody said that if it starts with a P, it's fine. Mine starts with a P, it says P7F21 is my batch. And so, without further ado, I cannot wait to get my hands and my eyes and everything else into this palette. So I have my eyes primed. I am gonna go in with the shade Dawn and just kind of go over it with my Sedona Lace EB13 and just kind of, ooh, okay, that is a darker shade. We are just gonna go ahead and put that in my crease because, wow, I forgot that people said this was very pigmented. Awesome. <laughs> okay, great crease color though, really pretty. Pigmented for sure, but also like a little bit patchy on this shade, first of all. On the first eye, it went on great, but this eye, it's like, kind of trying me. So Dawn was supposed to be an ov all over my lid shade, but it ended up being a lot more pigmented and a lot better of a crease color for me. So we're just gonna go with it and hope for the best here. The next shade in the palette that I'm gonna go in with is this one right here called Roxy. It's like a corally pinky nude shade. Um, and I'm going to go in with my Y16, one dip, completely coated, fallout for sure. Ooh. Honestly, I'm really impressed with the shade Roxy. It blended very nicely. I have no problems with that one whatsoever. Great shade, no problems, I'm good. To bring in a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna go in with this color New Wave, which is kind of like an orangey. It's like more of like a creamsicle in my opinion though. So I'm just gonna use the exact same Morphe Y16, dip once, and kinda go at the top. Focus it. I didn't use that shade a whole lot. I just kind of used it to blend. But honestly, I think it's a really gorgeous like macaroni color. 
and it worked really well with Roxy and Dawn. So the combination that I have on my eyes right now is Dawn, Roxy, and New Wave, and it is turning out really well so far. I heard it gets a little um, kind of tricky when you start to go into the darker shades. I did not hear anything bad about the shade Fudge, but uh, All Star, Axis, and Rowdy have been like the ones getting the most hate. But I am going to go in with Fudge right now, but I am going to try to incorporate some of those other colors so I can really get a feel for if this palette is okay or if it's just like, what the hell happened? So on my BH Cosmetics number 7 brush, I am going to go in with Fudge. Dudge. Okay, so <laughs> in the palette, this color fudge looks like a chocolatey brown. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, but for some reason, when I had put it onto my eyes, it got like very like dark chocolate brown instead of like a milk chocolate brown, and it kind of made my Ooh, I'm looking a little muddy on the outer corners. So I'm going to try to save it a little bit. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to save it because I've heard this shade does some funky stuff. But um, I'm going to go in with the shade All Star and kind of try to go over the brown part and see if we could just get a little more of like a burgundy out of it instead of like a brown since I'm doing more of like an orangey coral. I need like... Not as intense of a brown. I'm so nervous about this shade. I don't know if I want to put it on my eye or not. Okay. Suck it up. We are in All Star. I'm going in with the brush that came with the palette. Hopefully that will like give me some good luck. Okay, so All Star wasn't too, too bad. It did save it a little bit by bringing in like, honestly, it was more of like a purple hint to it. But um, honestly, I've had more problems with Fudge than All Star, if I'm gonna be honest. All Star kind of helped me out there for a second. It was a true All Star. Sorry, I'm internally battling with myself. Like right now, I really wanna use the shade Electric, like that really cool, greeny yellow foil shade but I think with my eye look the shade Adorn which is like a goldy bronze shade it just would look better with this look so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do like a half cut crease and put Adorn in there Okay, so I have cut out that crease a little bit and I'm going to go in with the shade Adorn and just kind of put it and pat it on top of the concealer. I'm like really going to dig in. Like, it's not really coating my brush though. Okay, so I experienced a lot of fallout with that shade, and I don't know if it was because I was like really heavily going in, but I really was not impressed with that whatsoever. Um, it didn't really, like you can't even see that like I did a cut crease now. I'm going to have to like put glitter on top of it, I feel like, but um, I'm going to go ahead and blend it with the shade 
access and see. It's just okay. The, the shaded door is just okay. It's a little hard to work with and you will get fallout, but you win some, you lose some. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the look. Okay, so I experienced the exact same thing with my left eye. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like went in on the color Adorn. Um, it's just not very pigmented. I, I don't think it's that great of a shade. I think the actual color of it is beautiful. But the color payoff and just the formulation of it, I'm not really a big fan of. I still do want to bring in some of the other colors, so I think I'm going to go in with the color Axis on my lower lash line and bring like a big color pop of blue into the look. So we're going to go in with Axis, and then I probably will get that electric shade in that inner corner. Um, let's just see how Axis goes first. I really like the shade Axis. I think it's really beautiful on the eye. Um, I don't really know how it like blends out or anything with the other colors just because I used it only on my lower lash line. Um, so I don't want to form like a opinion about how it performs on the eyes with other colors blending and doing all that kind of stuff. But on the lower lash line I had no problems with it. I went in very very light handed with it. So I really like this one. Really the only problems I'm having are Fudge and Adorn so far. I mean I haven't really tried Rowdy, I heard that has some problems. But All Star didn't have any problems for me and Axis looks really pretty on my lower lash line. Guys I just realized this is basically the exact same look I did for my Androgyny palette. Cool. Okay still really want to bring in that shade Electric so I'm going to go in with my Y20 and just put it in my inner corner and hope for the best because it's not coating my brush. Okay, now I'm obsessed. That shade is a little bit hard. You do, it's kind of like the other foiled shade. You kind of have to really get in there. Not nearly as much, I would say. But um, that was a pretty dense brush and it picked up the color really pretty. So I think I'm gonna pop on a winged <laughs> liner and then I will be right back. Okay, so shit just got really real. I put some false lashes on winged eyeliner, I added a jewel to match the electric shade in the inner corner. I just did it all. We went full, woo, and it's like 11 a.m. So, we are having a extra day today. I did buy one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks to also try on this tutorial because they did release like at the same time, I believe. So I have the shade Rosewood. I have not swatched it, I've done nothing. This probably won't even look good with what I have on. So my first initial swatch, very pigmented. This is like a ready brown shade, it's really gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lips and we can see if it goes. I doubt it, but. Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick in rosewood. It doesn't like really go with this eye look that I created, 
but you know we had to put it on just to try it honestly I really like the formula I'm not like a huge lipstick person um, I prefer matte liquid lipsticks or just any kind of liquid lipstick in general these went on really great. Honestly, I thought it was really creamy. I, I didn't have any problems with the formula. Uh, I did go over it a little bit with a lip pencil just so that I could get the lines how I wanted them. You could also use a lip liner. I didn't really have one on deck that was quite similar to this color. So I would recommend that for sure. I definitely am having like super circus vibes for some reason. Like I feel like I look a little like glam clown but like in a good way, you get it. So final thoughts on the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I honestly feel like I created a pretty okay look. I'll probably explore this palette a little bit more to be honest, because I don't think that I got to play with the colors that people have had a whole lot of issues with. Overall, with the shades that I used, which were Dawn, Roxy, Electric, Fudge, Adorn, New Wave, All Star, and Axis. I used a lot of colors, I tried my best. But um, as far as those shades go, I had a problem with Adorn, the way that it applied, and Fudge. It just kind of made my eyes look more like black than brown. So those were my trials and tribulations with the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I didn't honestly have that much fallout. Like, I've seen so many people have like, like intense amounts of fallout. And I didn't really, I mean I had a lot, but not like intense amounts. Yeah, I went like on it a lot, but I didn't really have a whole lot. Um, I know other people had problems hitting pan with their first dip, so they would literally go like this, boop, and like, it would like come right out. And I did not have that problem either. This wasn't sent to me. I didn't get like the PR batch. This was, I ordered it. I got a batch and it seems pretty okay to me. So that is my final thought on the sub culture palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm a little bit nasally right now. It's a little hard for me to talk because I have extreme allergies but thank you so much for watching I hope that this video helped you maybe um, like a somewhat positive review can help you see through like the tons and tons and tons and tons of negative reviews of this palette if you're not already please subscribe to my channel on your way out stay loving stay positive and I'll see you in the next one